What do bowling balls and gardens have in common? Well, they help make excellent garden planters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous faux sea glass garden planter with a bowling ball. For today's faux sea glass bowling ball planter, you're going to need the following things. To begin with, I am taking my faux sea glass, which is nothing more than upcycled bottles that actually broken and then tumbled in my newest rock tumbler, my newest toy from MGR Tumblers over there in Illinois. Uh, a great shout out to them. They've been fabulous. What we're going to do here, we have white spray paint and we're going to spray the side of the sea glass that is going into the concrete, the side that you're going to actually embed into the concrete. You're going to paint it white. And why do we paint it white? It is to give the color on the top more uh, vividness and brightness because sea glass will tend, because of its translucency, will tend to pick up the color that it's going into. And of course, we're putting it into concrete and uh, we don't want it to come across as gray. We want it to come across as this brilliant, the blues and the greens and everything else. So we're gonna spray this. I'm gonna set it down. Let it dry. Oh, there's a little bit that I missed here. And we'll go back to pouring our concrete. My setup for the sea glass bowling ball planter is as follows. I have a generic plastic bowl and I have a, a this is about an inch PVC, three quarters of an inch diameter that I cut up. And I'm gonna put that in my center, but I'm gonna spray my bowl first. This is nothing more than a, you can use a Pam. This is just a canola oil, a cheapy canola oil. And uh, you could also use a petroleum jelly, a WD-40, whatever, you got my message. It's some type of oil that will create the release when you need to lift the cement uh, planter out. So the other thing is I have my other container, my other plastic container, and this has about five tomato can sizes of the cement mixture. Now I'm gonna add some water to that very slowly, but first we're going to spray the insides here. All right, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna spray my bowling ball. Like so. That's the center. Now we're going to create our mixture of our cement. As you can see, I ended up taking my left hand and just getting down and dirty by mixing it up. It actually kind of feels good in a very toddler kind of way, right? That's okay. Now this is a rapid set cement mixture, so we do want to mix this very quickly and get it into a container into our mold. If you have a drill attachment to stir up the concrete, that's even better. I actually do have one, but I was a little too lazy to get it out. Okay. Continue pouring this. I made a little bit more concrete. All right. Good. We're going to take our glass, we're going to lay it in on the sides like so. Okay, I think we're good to go. This is going to dry. I'm back and it's been a couple hours. The ball can easily be moved and it's very hot on the outside, the concrete is curing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to help this concrete cure by lifting the ball out and misting the concrete. And I think it cures better when it's like this. It can be sprayed, it can be misted, it can be ponded is what it's called for curing um, cement or hydrating the cement. But I'm gonna do that and this is gonna help it cure to full strength. And in a couple of days, I'm going to release the mold is what I'm trying to say. The water has been drained out. And the only thing I wanna do is to sand this area down a little bit.
Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day.